Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is quite a, um, like it wasn't planned. I had never meant to do this. Basically, me and my friend who I'm allowed to see, I explained it in my day of the life, she lives alone, so I'm her support bubble. Um, we went to Home Bargains because we've seen these weighted hula hoops all over TikTok and obviously summer's coming up, stuff is starting to open soon and we want to look our best. Um, so we thought we'd take a trip to Home Bargains to find these hula hoops because we heard they were like a tenner and online they're quite expensive and basically the plan was to spend £10 on a hula hoop. Didn't spend £10, didn't actually buy a hula hoop. I have a problem, um, I need help, this is my confession, I'm Brooke and I'm a shopaholic, I can't stop spending money and I just thought I'd just give you a little haul because why not and I think, feel like if I share what I've bought it kind of gives me, you know I might inspire someone, I don't know. <laughs> But I've seen quite a lot of like home bargains and B&M hauls on YouTube at the moment and there's just some great stuff. It's so cheap and affordable. The only problem is, is because everything is so cheap and affordable, you end up buying way too much. Like my basket was overflowing, stuff fell out. Um, so I'm just going to share with you. There's nothing like massively exciting, but I just thought, why not? So first up, we were walking and we found these foot masks and I think they're basically the ones that your feet literally like peel off and you have like a fresh foot. <laughs> um, and I'm just, we were just both really intrigued and you know with summer coming up and everything opening you just want to feel fresh and you know look your best. Hot girl summer, even though we've both got boyfriends we can still have a hot girl summer. Um, so we just picked up these and they were like 89p each, something like that. Um, so I'm intrigued to give these a go. I just, I'm not gonna lie, I just want to see what happens. Like I'm really intrigued to know what happens but I think it's actually quite gross. So we'll see what these are like. And then I've got some T-zone strips um, to get rid of them blackheads. Again, got to look nice when everything opens up got to make sure I'm looking good enough so you know my boyfriend doesn't want to go with another girl <laughs> I don't know if that's funny or not I don't know to keep that <laughs> I don't know but yeah so these can help me out and I'm sure my boyfriend will end up seeing some as well and then I got some mouthwash just because I haven't used mouthwash in ages and you know sometimes you do just bleed a little bit when you brush your teeth so I just thought I'd get some mouthwash to make sure my gums are as healthy as my teeth are I think that was like two pound or something and I just got a box of the tissues um, which were like 79p or something just because I'm constantly using toilet roll to blow my nose and toilet roll isn't that soft like it's obviously soft enough but to constantly blow your nose it's not as nice so I just picked up a box of tissues and then I picked up some fabric Febreze fabric Febreze Febreze fabric fre fresh Febreze fabric fresher just to like spray my curtains or my pillows maybe even my rug just to make sure everything's fresh um, because some of my pillows as well you can't actually take off the cover to wash so this is really good just to keep things fresh and it actually like it eliminates odours it doesn't just mask them I think it actually um what do you call it it's almost does cleaning I can't speak what is wrong with me <laughs> anyway <laughs> moving on so this next purchase 
is almost a little bit pointless because I don't have my own house so I don't really have much of a need for it but I've seen it all over YouTube so many YouTubers are raving about it and I wanted to hop on the trend so I bought some Zoflora um I got one in Linen Fresh and Winter Spice the small one was 99p and then the bigger one was 199 and although I don't really I don't obviously have my own house or anything and I don't clean a lot i do clean my the shower room i say my shower room it's not everyone uses it but because it's next to my room i like to think of it as my own suite um so that'd be good for that and also when i steam up my floor because obviously i'm downstairs i don't have a carpeted floor and sometimes when you steam up it almost smells a bit um like damp so i just thought i could put a little bit of this in the steam up when i'm up my floor and it will make it smell a lot nicer and yeah i didn't need them but i wanted to feel a part of the you know feel a part of having my own house without actually having my own house because can i afford that no and then next up i picked up a few candles so i picked up four of these of these ones these were 59p um they're 16 hours and they smell really like really good and they almost look like yankee candles they're not they're wickford and co but they do look like yankee candles and i got two in warm, a warm apple and cinnamon one in red rose and one in gingerbread and they are really nice and i thought that was really cheap as well because i'm one of those people i love having candles but when you spend more than a couple pounds on a candle i'm like i don't want to burn it because it costs so much money so i'd rather buy like loads of cheap ones and just keep them burning especially if they smell nice and then i bought three of these little teeny tiny ones and these i think it was eight hours yeah, eight hours they burn for. And I got two in French vanilla and one in home baking. And I love vanilla. I know that's very, like, plain and boring. But it is just such a nice smell. And then I also picked up these Glade spiced apple and cinnamon um, wax melts. I did actually burn one last night. And they are incredible. Got it in apple and cinnamon i think i just told you the thing but i think these were like one pound fifty or something they were a bit more expensive but obviously glade is like a bigger brand so you kind of gotta expect that and then mm, i also sorry this is out because i've actually used it the past two nights in a row um i got this um palmer's cocoa butter natural bronze body lotion and this stuff is so good i think this was like four pounds um let me have a look yeah 3.99 so that's the most expensive thing i bought um but it's so good it you know most hands stink like um my boyfriend likes to say it smells of curry or biscuits like stale biscuits he hates it he hates the smell of tan and i'm not really i don't really like it either and this stuff smells gorgeous it's almost what you'd think a like chocolate factory would smell of it's so nice it's like a chocolatey smell um you can literally just pull it on like normal moisturizer with your hands or you can pull it on with a mitt because it sometimes does stay in your hands and it's just a moisturiser so you don't rub it off and it's just gradual. I have put a little bit on. You can't really tell that much. But it's just like a natural thing just to make you not so pale. And it just smells really nice. And it obviously moistures your skin as well. And there's no... Um, I've never found... You know like fake tan streaks after a while. It doesn't really do that. Um, and then... Then it's to food bits. So I picked up some Nando's lemon and herb sauce. I think this is like 130 or something like that. Um, I love Nando's, but it isn't the cheapest food ever. So I thought I'd get some sauce to try and make my own Nando's. <laughs> and then I picked up these two sauce packets. They are the Blue Dragon um like stir fry sauces i got one in sweet chili and garlic and one in chow mein and you get three packs like three packets in each pack and normally in a shop one packet is like 79p and three packets here are 99p 
So you're saving so much money and me and my boyfriend eat stir fry all the time because it's just so quick and easy. It's actually quite healthy and these packets are so nice. So I picked one up in the chow mein one and then his favourite is the sweet chili and garlic. Um, so yeah. And then next up I got some Nescafe vanilla latte. What are they called? Like pods? They're not pods though are they? Like sachets. Oh, I actually cannot. I need to go back to bed. Um, because basically, I'm a basic girl who loves coffee but doesn't actually like coffee that much, like strong coffee. So she has to have it flavoured. Um, so vanilla is that. But I love these. They're so nice. And I think this was like one pound fifty nine. Um, and they're so quick and easy. And they're a lot cheaper than a Starbucks or a Costa. Oh, I forgot. Where is it? Oh. So I'm just going to pause on the food bit a sec because I want to show this. Mum, if, if for some reason you are watching, which you probably aren't, can you just like skip 30 seconds or something or just stop watching because basically they've got some really cute Mother's Day stuff. This bag, look how bloody cute this bag is. And it was like 79p. So I picked up this bag because I'm just going to fill like her favourite sweets in that ear. And then this really gorgeous candle. And it says, a mother is your first friend, your best friend, and your forever friend. And I think this was only like £2. And I love this quote. I've, um, I think I wrote it in my mum's card quite a few times because for me my my like my mum is my best friend I love her to pieces um so it's so cute and they had like some other bits as well they had slippers um some cute like banners and everything so if you are stuck on anything for Mother's Day get over to Home Bargains because it's actually so it's so affordable that, why not okay now back to the like good stuff that is yummy um the best biscuits you'll ever eat. The Fox's Golden Crunch Creams. These are incredible. I'm not a massive biscuit fan, but these are just delightful. And I think they were like 49p. Like these are just, they're just gorgeous. And then last but not least, this kind of, this last part kind of shows why I'm not really ready to be an adult. Because I bought about 10 packets of sweets. I have the biggest sweet tooth ever. I have a problem with shopping and I have a problem with sweets. I just love them. Um, so I picked up some sweets. I have a pot that, um, I got one of those sweet shop pots for Christmas that was full of sweets, so I just like to keep that full up so I always have sweets. Now I can always offer guests, not that I've had any guests, but eventually when I can have guests, I can offer them sweet. When I say guests, I mean like a random friend coming around to watch movies or something, not an actual guest, because one, I don't have my own home, and two, we're not that formal. Um, so I just picked up some rhubarb and custard sweets, some Malwams, this Barrett beauty bag, which is big and looks nice, some drumsticks, but these have got the cherry and apple flavour and the bubblegum flavour, bubblegum, <laughs> bubblegum drumsticks are the best, whether it's the squishies or the actual drumsticks are just incredible you have to try them um then being an old granny i got some Werber's originals i haven't had these in ages and they're just so yummy so i thought i'd get a packet got some mini bags of skittles some love hearts and then the like chews they're like chewy set I love the banana ones of these, they are incredible, they remind me of like childhood, they are just so nice. Um, and then last but no means least, I got this Milka Caramel Bar, 
it looks incredible it looks so yummy so i can't wait to eat that um and that is everything so yes i spent a lot of money on not much and yeah but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope maybe you know it's going to give you some inspiration to go spend some money or you can not be like me you can be clever and save your money or buy it on things that actually matter not spend it on sweets and candles all those sweets by the way were like a pound each a pound a bag or less i think because it's like less than retail price but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please give a uh, thumbs up if you did comment down below anything you want to comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye